All right, guys, so I'm going to show you my dinner. We went and got some Chinese, but it is good, healthy version of it, and it's like authentic. It was a real Chinese place, not like Panda Express, which is where my husband wanted to go. Um, and I'm only going to eat a little bit of it, and then I'll save the rest for like tomorrow. But and there's that. That's a veggie roll. Well, that's what barbecue pork fried rice is. I'm doing my video. There we go. Your mom's a hoe. You're such a dick. You're such a dick. Anyways, and then I think it's what is this? Egg flour soup, which is also healthy. Thank you. You know I can't edit this, right? Okay, Layla, Raimi's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm pretty sure the soup is egg flour soup. I'm trying to open it but not spill it. See what I have to deal with every day? This is every day. Hey! Every day. Anyways. And then egg flour soup. Are you going to go on my walk with me? Or no? Yeah? I go. You don't have to come with. Alright. I'll catch you guys later. Alright guys, so I'm on my walk, alone by myself, but that's okay. Kids stay the night last night with Grandma, and um, they're staying with Grandma again tonight. Um, let's see. <laughs> well, last night, my youngest messaged me, and might be a little too much TMI, but I have a mom, and she is 10. I still see her as my little girl. She still plays with baby dolls. Like when we had our tornado this week, she totally got all worked up about going outside and saving her roly polies that she had hunted for and found and put in a jar. Like she got mad at me because I wasn't concerned about her roly polies. I was concerned about her staying inside for her safety. But she's only 10 years old. And she messaged me last night when she started her period. I'm not gonna lie, I bawled. <laughs> like, she's 10, like 10. I mean, my my oldest is 13 and she started this past year. So she, I think she was 12. She started before she turned 13. I was 14. So I was hoping maybe my kids were gonna be old like me, but <laughs> apparently not. It's just crazy, crazy. It was a interesting way for me to end my night. So after work, I went and got her some things, brought her the heating pad and, I'm going to take her next week and we're going to go get a, let her pick out a little bag and put all, you know, the essential stuff, pampering, all of that stuff in a little bag. That way she has it to take with her um, to grandma's. And then when she starts school, she'll have it to take with her to school. And then whenever they end up going back to seeing their dad for the 24 hours, whenever that may be, I don't know what's going on there. She'll have that to take there too. Um, anyways, so there's that little bit of update. I know it's not a weight loss update, but it kind of made me sad. <laughs> She's my little girl. Anyways, I probably should stop before I start crying. Um, let's see. <laughs> Actually, be, before this part... <laughs> You guys saw me trying to show you my dinner, and my husband had to come and interrupt and be a jackass. <laughs> it's what I deal with every day. It's okay, though. I love him. He makes me laugh. Anyways, um, so you saw him there. I had some Chinese for dinner. However, A, going on a walk. B, I chose, well, I, we, I guess. <laughs> He wanted Panda Express, and that's like unhealthy Chinese. Like that's very, that's all deep fried. Everything there is deep fried. None of it's healthy. It's all packaged and like processed food. So I told him. Sometimes him and the girls are bad for my my weight loss journey and my diet. Um, but you know, I'm not gonna make them cut themselves off of foods that they like because they don't need to do it. I do. I'm not going to do that to him. So, but he wanted Chinese. So I told him, okay, 
if we do Chinese, we're gonna go to this one Chinese restaurant here that right now all restaurants are just doing takeout. We're still not open. We actually just got our second confirmed case in the last week here. I mean, we've had more than two, but in just this past week, we've had two new cases. That's how I should say, new cases, two new cases. Even though they are talking about opening up at the end of this month, but I think that's stupid if we do. It's like I said, two new cases. Anyways, I'm totally getting off track, guys. I'm sorry. This is not the COVID-19 speech vlog. Anyway, so I told him we're going to go to this one place if we do the Chinese. So let's, you know, compromise here. And he's great at compromising. He's so supportive of what I'm doing. Like, if he catches me wanting to eat something or have more than one soda in a day, he stops me and does it in a very nice way and reminds me you know, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how supportive he is of me. So anyways, um, so we went to that place, which, uh, it's like real, like authentic, um, Chinese food. Like it's not, you don't get like processed, you don't get it bagged. It's, they cook it from scratch. They don't, I mean, some of the stuff they're going to deep fry because that's just some Chinese, right? Um, but I got the healthy version. So as you saw, or I attempted to show you, and then I was about to interrupt, um, I got a veggie roll. Um, they, at this place, they give you egg flour soup. I'm not 100% sure how healthy that is. Pretty sure it is kind of healthy. So I ate that. And then I got barbecue pork fried rice. Uh, that's probably like in the middle of healthy and not healthy. Um, and then chicken or cashew nut and chicken. And that came, as you guys saw, with like broccoli. Um, I could definitely tell it was like good cooked steamed broccoli, carrots, um, a, a few other things, the chicken and then the nuts. And then a very like light Chinese type sauce. <laughs> um, and I had... I measured it out. I've been doing really good since I did my weigh-in. So the last two days, like really weighing my food and making sure I weigh it good. Um, half, I did half a cup of everything. Well, I ate the whole um, soup. It wasn't, it wasn't a lot. Um, but half a cup of the chicken and nut cashew and then half a cup of the pork fried rice. And then I had the A or the veggie roll, which was a small veggie roll. Um, so that was my dinner. I've had six waters already. Um, I just, you know, I didn't step on anything. Um, I actually just finished my six, so I will definitely hit eight, maybe more by the time I go to bed. I'm already back home. I started my vlogging like when I was almost home. I walked five, um, 10 minutes before I started this, so 15 minutes of a walk tonight. Um, and for lunch today, I had a cup of pretzels and then a Nutri-Grain bar. And I didn't have anything for breakfast. Not going to have anything else. No like type of dessert, no type of snacking. I think that's kind of part of my issue too, is there's times my husband and I would do like, we'll go to bed and watch a movie or a TV show and we'll snack on something, you know? So for me, it's also getting rid of old habits. And I think for me too, I think what happened this week um, a big thing of what happened this week was I don't want to look at f like just food, like the food I like as this enemy and I can't have it and it's bad. And, um, so I think I was looking at it like that and it just got to a point, I think for me mentally, I just like, I want this, I want it, I want it, I want it, screw it, you know, type of thing. And I seem to always like mess things up a lot when things are going good. Like I said, I lost 60 pounds. I felt really good this past summer. I was like 157 or something like that. Um, this last summer and I was looking a lot better. I was feeling really good. And then I let myself go again. So I'm definitely going to work on mentally not doing that to myself. Um, I did do my ab workout. <laughs> And then I realized that my phone was not recording 
at all. Didn't record it at all. I don't know what happened. Um, and I was not about to do it again. So I didn't get that footage. I'm so sorry, guys. But I did do it, and I'm super proud of myself. I think this is the third day in a row now. I'm going to either, I think I'm not going to do it tomorrow because I have done it three days in a row. Um, but I have tomorrow and Saturday off. Tomorrow I'm going to focus on laundry and helping kid with ki helping the kids with stuff like schooling, do house cleaning. Um, if it's nice enough tomorrow, take two walks. Um, today it didn't rain, so I was able to take this walk. And then Saturday I think I will just do one walk and do my ab workout. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, work, work was actually slow as far as customers, but I stayed busy. So I did a lot of walking around. I did a lot of like organizing the plants and grabbing a bunch of plants to um, discount. I mean, there's always, always plants to discount, always. <laughs> like it's either plants that are starting to go bad or plants that we've had for a while. So um, I did a lot of lifting. I also organized a shelf with a lot of um, potting soils so that was a lot of lifting of that as well um so i really think today um was a really good day so all right guys um, my husband is calling me i don't think he realizes i'm right outside the house <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and um i will see you guys tomorrow for my next vlog and i just also want to thank you guys so much for always watching and being so supportive and for subscribing and if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button to be notified and my bag and violet's bag from the dean west on the way i took a sneak peek at violet's today um trying really hard to have willpower to not take a sneak peek at mine but we will see all right so have a look out for that guys i'll talk to you later bye